All right, so for the bench, we're gonna actually use some inch and a half material. Now there's a couple ways you can go about building a bench. You can honestly frame it, put plywood around it, and then just basically cover over with the actual hydro block wall panels. And in reality, that would work just the same, but it honestly is better to have everything foam because there isn't any expansion contraction of wood. Um, but if you construct it well, there's no reason you couldn't do this out of framing as well, but we're gonna use the inch and a half board. Now, the only thing about the inch and a half is that you need to have spacing on your support every 12 inches. So we're gonna make basically three little uh, square um, aspects to it. And as far as the height of a bench, it's really up to you. So let's go ahead and measure to the wall here, basically a 12 inch bench. 12 inches and then we're just going to make the height of this like I said 21 you know and you can honestly always build up so if you didn't like the height you could always add on another layer of the hydro block um, to build up the height if you wanted to once you're too high there's not much you can do so we'll go 21 by 12 and we'll make a couple three of those little uh, supports for it essentially That looks pretty high. For me, no, but once, once the time. So that means that's 21 and a half. So plus, you know, so I mean 23 height. You don't think so? And uh, it's too tall. Yeah, I mean, I'm six foot and I'm sitting up. It's just a little tall. Yeah, I think I'm going to take an inch and, a half, an inch and a half off. Like I said, you could always build this up. You can't reduce it once you have it built. So let's go ahead and just uh, reduce that. And then this one's gonna, so what I'm gonna do here is this is gonna go right to the edge and then we're gonna put another piece on the outside of this because I wanna have this extent, the bench that extend out an inch and a half past where my entrance is. And main reason for that is because my glass is gonna be going right here and you want some kind of reveal on that bench. So if you can use like an inch, inch and a half board on the outside of this that works out great and then if you were going to be doing any type of actual curb that even is even more important to have a little buffer out on that bench so that when you put your threshold of your curb on it actually meets up with the bench rather than sticking outside of it there's nothing worse than seeing a curb sticking outside of a bench because somebody didn't plan so make your bench a little bit wider than your actual transition of your shower I think that's better because then once I yeah I, yeah yeah because even when I have another inch and a half on top of that that should work out better so what that gives me is 19 and a half so I think that's more appropriate just gotta test these things out that's what's nice about making things custom you can build them the way you want to all right so now that we got our that established let's go ahead and just get these pieces mounted in. One thing you wanna do is make sure that this is pitching up towards um, the back of the wall. You want, all, you want all the drainage coming in. So the way that this is sitting right now is not too bad. We're just gonna make it, we just have to make sure that that pitches. And then, I mean, really, I just need the bubble. I really just need this bubble hitting that line. That's all I need. I don't need a lot of pitch. It just needs to be enough that water is gonna drain off of that bench and come in here. So that's, that's like the perfect amount right there.
Okay, so hydro block's really easy to cut. So 37 and a half. So go ahead and just cut this. No dust, no mess, pretty awesome. So let's just double check to see if this is going to be the right. Yeah, so it looks like I got a little bit of overhang on this guy. That should work. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is just basically adhere the front face of this. Now the one important note you wanna do here, so anytime it goes into the, the groove here, you just wanna mark it before you seal it. So this is a good idea to get in practice of just to make sure that this sits down in that groove. So you can see here, this is going about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch into that actual rabbit joint. So use that as reference to make sure that this sinks into that pan. And then just apply a generous amount of sealant into that groove. And then we're gonna basically just adhere to the front face of our supports. And then just make sure that you can see how that's oozing out of there. It's a good sign. That's all nice and square and plumb. We'll just take the excess off. And we'll just we'll address that corner again here in a minute, but you don't want that to you don't want that to harden up on there. But that looks good. You got everything filled. And then we'll go ahead and make a top. Now, the way I'm going to make this top, the reason I built the bench first is because I basically want to create the same idea as I do for the pan. I want to rabbit joint the top of this so that the wall boards set down into the top of the actual bench top. So let's see what our bench top is at 37 and a half. And by the 12, well, it looks like 12 and a half now for our back. So 12, actually 12 and three quarter, 12 and five A's. We'll go 12 and five A's. So 12 and five A's by 37 and a half. Okay, so we need to recreate the rabbit joint. Now this would be the same method that if you wanted to cut down your shower pan, this would be the exact same method. So you want to first reduce the side, you know, the height of your blade. So reduce this down to the height of the board. We're going to be going the thickness of this as well. So straight over the thickness of that. So now be able to recess that board straight into the top of that bench. So that's how we're going to lock it in and make that waterproof. So we just need to cut this little guy out here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and just use the sealant to adhere it to the to the top of these supports. Which uses a little, lot more sealant this way. But just to show you this sausage tube, when you pull this out, you kind of you can see how that cartridge is completely spent. So you just pull this out, then you throw in a new tube, just poke the top. And then 
reapply your nozzle. Okay, so just double check. This should be all level that way. Yeah, I'm just. That's actually quite a bit. <laughs> I don't know why it's so extreme, but it's all right. You can always build up thin set to make that bench a little bit lighter. But I mean, that's a little extreme. I mean, we've got about an eighth inch. Let it go. So that's a little. That's a little much, but. Yeah, if you have it a little bit too much like this, you're going to be able to build it up with the inset on your bench top itself. But the idea of this is that if water gets behind this tile, at least it flows down into the shower base. But uh, yeah, this is uh, really the, the, the most bomb proof or bulletproof type of bench you can build because it's all out of foam. It's not going to expand and contract. And you know, you're getting the full waterproof system here. So now we can go ahead and put our, the rest of our wall board up which should be pretty simple and uh, yeah, really get a curbless entry shower in here. Okay, looks good. <laughs> 